So in this video, we just want to have a quick look at the ways that we can use the OEM key fob to remote start the vehicles. There are two different ways of starting it. Uh, one is three clicks on the lock button and the other is lock, unlock, lock. So we'll, to start with, we'll do the car on the right hand side using the Audi OEM key fob and we'll do lock, lock, lock. So one, two, three. Takes five seconds to fire up. And there we go. And what you'll also notice um, on this vehicle on the right hand side is we've also done a further setting so that the hazard lights flash every five seconds when the remote start is working. That's good if you're quite far away um, and you want to see if the actual remote start system is active. If you can see the vehicle and you can see the lights flashing, you know it is. Um, so we'll turn the now. Again, three clicks. One, two, there we go um, so that's using lock 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 and this time for the vehicle on the left hand side we're going to use lock unlock lock and you'll also notice that we've turned the hazard lights off on this one so there's no flashing lights at all with the hazard, with the hazard lights so lock unlock lock there we go five second delay vehicle starts up and there's, there's at the start of the sequence, but it doesn't, the two hazard lights flash at the start, but then the hazard lights don't flash after that. So again, there's various different ways that you can start the vehicle, and there's various different ways you can have the uh, lights flashing when the vehicle's on, and you can choose all of these when you actually order it from, from us. I'm gonna turn this vehicle off again. When you see the uh, light flashing, by the way, on the camera, it doesn't actually flash in real life. I think that's something to do with the, um, uh, the camera, the iPhone frame rate. So, yep, yeah, that's it.